this tutorial I'll show you in detail how to design a nonlinear story without a C draft. First of all, open the flow editor. Now let's begin with creating a starting point for our plot. There are several ways of creating nodes. You can drag a node type from the toolbar and drop it at the desired position. Or you can right click on the canvas to open the context menu. Here you can also set the default node type, which can be quickly created by holding down Ctrl, Shift and clicking on an empty position of the canvas. If you have created nodes already, you can also drag out a connection. When dropping the connection on empty space, you can quickly create a connected node. This node is called flow fragment. Flow fragments are the most generic node types in RTC Draft. They can be used to describe any kind of self-contained event, for example a section of the story or a specific occurrence in a game level. To move across the canvas, hold down the right mouse button and move your mouse in the desired direction. Use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. To quickly get an overview of the whole structure, simply double click on the empty canvas. Another double click zooms back in. Because RTC Draft is focused on interactive and nonlinear stories, you can add pins to a flow fragment to create multiple entry and ending points. You can quickly delete pins by holding down Ctrl and right clicking on the pin you want to remove. Double click on a pin to enter a label. For instance, you can use this to specify a condition for this node to begin. Connections are created by simply clicking on a pin and holding down the left mouse button while moving the cursor. This way you can quickly create a branching network of nodes. You can add text to connections just in the same way as to pins. Simply double click a connection and use this label for example to describe what leads from the previous to the following flow fragment. But you cannot only use text to describe events. If you have some assets you can attach them to your notes by drag and drop. Thereby you can use images, music or videos to further flesh out the tone and atmosphere of your story. You also have the possibility to color notes. Use this feature to highlight certain events or to signalize at first glance what a note stands for. What makes RTC Draft's Flow Editor really special is its nested structure. Double clicking a note or clicking on Submerge takes you to the layer beneath, which contains the note's inner content. Here you see the entry and ending points you created for the parent note. By connecting the inner content to these pins, you make sure that the flow is never cut off. So why is this useful? Because you can start with only a rough structure on the utmost level, for example with the main plot points or by dividing your story into chapters, and go into more detail on the layers below. Thus the flow stays structured and manageable on every layer, from the main plot, inside every chapter, down to every single dialogue. Speaking of dialogues, they come with some special features I would like to show you in the next tutorial.